Good play. Good boy, Charlie. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's a good boy. <laughs> boy. Alright, how are you guys doing? Uh, I want to make a quick video about Charlie and a couple of little things. I feel like he's at a point where we've reached a milestone type of thing with him, so I want to kind of go over a few things with you guys and um, show you what I'm doing with him and then uh, hopefully soon here we're going to have you in for a Thursday or Friday, we're going to have you in for a lesson here. So, it took us a little while to get the fundament, fundamental stuff done and th thank you Autumn for doing all that so now I can piece it all together and kind of make a story happen for you, right? He's, uh, this is Charlie at his full <laughs> glory, right? This is what he likes to do, this is who he is. He's just a young, happy, very toy motivated little guy, you know? And with that type of desire comes all sorts of other things that, you know, get in the way. Like he wants to take this desire to play properly with toys into our pants, into our legs, into everything else, right? So with a little last little bit, he had to learn like, hey, there are certain things that if I do, even though I'm doing it from a good place, like I just want to have fun, there are certain things that are not okay that don't actually, hurt, that, that, that hurt my people, you know, that don't, that don't help. So he's learned that in life from, from his family that there's going to be feedback, right? So there's going to be positive feedback and then there's going to be negative feedback. And it's through this feedback system that he's been able to determine, like, hey, these things that I do, that's totally cool. There's a few other things that I do that are not so cool, you know? And, uh, and, and overall, as long as I keep listening to Jeff and Anna and Otto and things like that, my life is going to continue to be awesome. Um, all I have to do is a couple little things that they ask me to do once in a while. So we're going to go over those couple little things that we ask him to do once in a while now. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it and what happens if he doesn't do it, right? Because that's half the, the battle is if he, if he just does everything we say, then we're, we're, we don't need instructionals, right? But I'm going to show you a little bit of what to do when he does it. I'm going to do it in slow. Like I'm going to try to do it as slow as possible. And I'm going to try to narrate it as much as possible. So right now, He's free, he's enjoying his phone, he's just hanging out on his bed. Um, but I want him to leave that and I want him to come to me. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let him know I'm calling to him. I'm gonna say his name really carefully or really loudly and make sure that he hears me. Once I see that he hears me, I'll give him the command. Most of the time upon hearing his name, he will start coming, right? So let's see what happens. Charlie! Yes! Good boy! Good boy! And that's all I want him to do right there, right? I, I, don't, I didn't ask him to stay, I just want him to respond. That's step one. If we can say the dog's name and get his focus and get some attention, we can use that focus to go do other things, right? So let's try that again. He's back at his phone, he's doing his thing. Charlie, come! That's a good boy, good place. Nice, good place. And he knows. Uh-uh. Charlie, come! Good boy, good place. Good place. Good boy. So that was a good example. I asked him to come here. I asked him to stay there. He decided not. Uh-uh. Charlie. Good place. Good boy. This is a great example. I'm asking him to stay. He has a very high reward over there. Uh-uh. Charlie. Come on, back. Come on, come on. Go place. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. There's a good boy. There you go. Good place. And as many times as he decides to get off, I have to give him feedback. When he's on here, it's positive feedback. If he decides to leave before I ask him to leave, that's going to be negative feedback. You can get your little food that dropped over there and hop back on. Go place. Right here. Thank you. Good boy. Good place. That's a good boy. Nice. Everything happens really quickly in his brain, so, you know, we have to kind of help him figure things out sometimes. But, the idea here is this, when he's doing the right thing, we need to give him positive reinforcement, positive feedback. When he's doing the wrong thing, we don't get mad, we don't yell, we don't do anything. We use our e-collar to let him know, hey, you just did the wrong thing, and then we help him figure out what the right thing is. And it's with that information there, right there, he's got a super high value treat, he's got a phone. Uh-uh, Charlie! Go place. There you go. Good boy. Yeah, you gotta wait there the whole time when I'm done talking and I'll give you your food. That's a deal, okay? Yeah, that's a good boy. Um, 
So that's essentially like it, right? That's where we are at his training. He really understands the feedback system. We're using it to build more patience. We're building it to make better understanding of what's okay and what's not okay. He really is doing awesome. He just has, you know, where, where of our million repetitions were 50% of the way through, I would say, on the, most of those things. Um, that's a good boy. And because he's over there chilling, I'm gonna go ahead and poke him. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Um, in essence, this is the biggest thing, right? Being able to communicate to him when he's doing something we don't want so that he can turn around and change his mind and do something better, right? But we're gonna use that little system of feedback for everything, whether it's a recall, whether it's to go place, whether it's to stop biting my leg. Like if he's biting my leg, I wanna get negative feedback for that. And then I'm gonna be like, hey, but this is positive. You can play with that. There you go, so he learns. Legs no good, <laughs> ball is good. Um, but it, the best part about, uh, sit, hey, sit. Yes, good job. The best part about training is, through this entire process, instead of him being a little feral gremlin, he's really learning like how to look at me, and Autumn, and Anna, and like be like, hey, what, what did I do? Did I do the right thing? Did I do the wrong thing? There's a little bit more of this partnership that's developing right now, right? So I'm really excited about that, and I want to share that, that piece with you guys soon. Um, that way we can kind of like show him that you guys understand, and there's rules for how he should interact with you guys as well. I hope I was clear and hopefully that made sense. If you guys have any questions or you want me to go over anything else or show something different, I'd be more than happy to. Really excited for when you guys come over. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching.